Fox, good morning from Christina, Bunny, and I. Good morning. I hope everyone enjoyed our mindful meditation week this week. And yesterday we had such a great time sharing different activities, some mindful and meditative activities with our extra video. And we're going to continue today by doing some yoga poses. But before we do that, <clears throat> Miss Nell is going to ask if you get a towel a beach towel or a wash or a uh, bath towel or if you have a yoga mat in your house let's use that today or you know what if you have a comfy spot like on your carpet go there my loves absolutely because we're going to do some poses today we're going to go through zoo zen we're going to do animal poses our character in our story lila she's going to show us some animal poses today and some stances and we are going to do the animal poses of all the animals at the zoo how cool is that because we're going to do something in continuing with our meditation and mindfulness week called yoga and yoga is a way to help calm our minds and help calm our bodies because our bodies and minds all work together to create calm so we're wholly calm all right my love so today we're going to try that okay so miss nell say grab your towel your yoga mat or a comfy place to sit oh have a parent with you <clears throat> while you do these and you know what you may want to have like a chair or a soft comfy you know squishy right by you to help you with your balance and a parent to help you with your balance too because then you could be each other's yoga buddy all right my loves so let's try reading we're going to read count and do yoga today through our book whoa christina <laughs> that's totally amazing <laughs> now miss nell wants to also say if any of these poses you know create a difficulty or an uncomfort for you that's okay you do what you can and you know what nothing's ever perfect so you know what you try your best and your best is good enough my loves okay so we're going to start <clears throat> miss mel's going to hold our book open with two little props i have today i wanted to show you my monkey rock keeping with the zoo material and my awesome nugget clay pig what look at that tail is that adorable or what christina let's see your tail oh look at her tail <laughs> That's adorable. Tails are adorable. <clears throat> All right, my loves, are you ready to jump in and dive in and do our activities? We're going to read a book today, count, and do yoga. That's amazing. So today's story is Zoo Zen. Yes, I said it, Zoo Zen, a yoga story for kids. And this is by Kristen Fisher, and it's illustrated by Susie Schaefer. So let's read our, open our book and let's read our story today. And we're going to do, like Miss Mouse said, our animal yoga poses through our story. And that is Lila. <clears throat> Lila is a character along with the animals in our story today. Can you see her? And she has all her animal friends with her. She has eagle, bear, camel. She has a frog. She has a crocodile. She has a lion. She has a flamingo. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. She has snakes down there, a lizard, a dolphin. She has amazing animals. Can you see those together? So cool. Lila is ready to try something new. Can she learn yoga? Now Lila's new at trying yoga too. And that's okay. We're going to try, right? You know we're going to put our best foot forward. And she can learn yoga from friends at the zoo. So we're going to learn some yoga from our friends. Now before she starts her yoga, she rolls out her mat or her beach towel or finds a comfy place. Puts on yoga pants. Ms. Mel has her comfy yoga pants. Always have like comfy pants to pose like the creatures and mimic each stance. So this is how Lila does it. And she does it right in her room. That's pretty cool with all her animal friends surrounding her. Oh, and she even has pictures of her animals. Can you see? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> she drew some awesome pictures. Now, here's our first one. Miss Nell's gonna use her comfort buddies here. One balancing bear grabs onto his feet. Lila grabs also and lifts from her seat. Can you see our balancing bear? Oh, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this yoga pose for today. We're going to hold our hands. You see your hands, your jazz hands. We're going to put our hands right on our feet. And we're going to put out like a Z. Now, Miss Mel needs a little help with this because you know what? This is a pretty tough pose to do. 
but this is a bear. Now, if it's easy for you to hold out your legs like a V, hold out your legs like a V, hold your hands on your feeties, and we're gonna raise up. So maybe get your parent behind your back to help you raise yourself up. But this is all about trying to balance. So when we have our feet, oh my goodness, we're gonna balance like a bear. Now the whole part of this is balancing on your butt, balancing on your patoot. So we're gonna try to build a little balance and stretch our legs at the same time and stretch it like a bear. All right, good job. Now don't worry about these yoga poses because you know what, we're gonna do it slow, we're gonna try them together. And at the end of this book, if you get it through curbside pickup coupler or overdrive or Libby, you, or our, like I said, our curbside pickup, in the back, I'm gonna show you the instructions of all the yoga poses we're doing today. So you can do them at another time too. All right, let's see what our next animal is. I'm excited. Oh, snakes! How many of us love snakes? How many of us think snakes are cool? Certain ones. <laughs> How many of us see two snakes here? What, can we count them together? One, two. In the cobra pit, these are cobra snakes. In the cobra pit, two snakes slide around. She slithers and wiggles all over the ground. So this is how Miss Mel's gonna show you, ready? I'm gonna show you my legs. Can you see my legs? We're gonna get down on the ground. Miss Mel's gonna put her head down so you can see my legs. I'm gonna stretch them, stretch them out. And then I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna lift my body up and stretch, stretch, stretch my back. Oh, nice and slither tongue out. And then I'm gonna slither, slither, slither like a snake. <laughs> good job, good job. <clears throat> All right, our next pose. Who's ready? Eagle! The eagle pose. Now, for this pose, we're going to have to stand up. So, put one. This is a little tough. So, you know what? When you're, when you're doing it with your parent, have your parent hold you a little bit while you do it. Now, this is one of the yoga poses out of all of them, I think. Might need a little more practice from all of us. It's certain. This male certainly had to practice a lot. Three eagles gaze on. How many eagles do we see? Three! One, two, three. Three eagles gaze on. Lila glances up high. <clears throat> Twisted yet steady, she's ready to fly. And this is another yoga, path, uh, yoga pose dealing with balance. So let's try to balance. So what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna put our foot right behind our leg. And like Miss Nell said, get your parent to hold you while you do this. And then we're gonna put our hands up to balance first. And we're gonna put, we're gonna twist. See, Miss Mel has a chair to hold her for her balance. We're gonna pose up and we're gonna twist a little bit like a pretzel. So you see I'm a little bit like a pretzel? So my hand's right here. I'm gonna hold it up high and twist like a pretzel. Whoa! And I can't hold it for that long, but you know what? I'm certainly willing to try a little bit more so that I can try to balance a little bit more because yoga is all about balance. Balance of our minds and our bodies. <clears throat> oh my goodness, lions, oh, how many of us love lions, oh, kings in the jungle, how many lions do we see, one, two, three, four, <clears throat> lions stalk and they prowl in this pride, there are four, hands pressed to her knees, Lila bellows a roar, okay, so now what we're going to do is roar like a lion, <clears throat> so we're going to pose like a lion. We're going to kneel. Okay, just like Lila. We're going to learn from Lila. And then we're going to put our hands on our knees. Okay, my love. So we're going to kneel first, put our hands on our knees. And then we're going to bend our back a little bit and roar like a lion. Roar. Can you roar again? Roar. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Roar. Hands on our knees. Roar. <clears throat> Good job. That was a great job. Wow, I heard that roar, those roars all the way over here. Wow, you guys are good roars. Five camels. How many five? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Five camels with humps. <gasps> one her to bend back. She grips onto her heels. Now she's got the neck. Now relax your neck with this one. 
And this one's a little tough, so if you if you bend your knees a little bit, that's okay. Miss Nell's gonna do this. This is an easier pose. If you feel you can do this, hold your heels. <clears throat> you're gonna hold your heels. And then what we're gonna do, you're gonna bend your knees, and then we're gonna bend all the way back. Like a camel. And then we're gonna slowly come out of our pose, bend all the way back, and relax. That was a good stretch. Ms. Nell felt that stretch. That was a good stretch. I needed that. <laughs> oh, how many of us love crocodiles? Can we do a crocodile mouth? Let's clap. Let's do a crocodile clap five times. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Good job. And there are six crocodiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> now, like six crocodiles perched up on their claws. She's on her tummy, and it's time to pause. So during our yoga sessions, we always like a little time for quiet time. Shh. So let's get down, down, down to the ground. And time to pause. Let's take a moment. <clears throat> let's count to five in our minds. Good job, my loves. Oh, what other animal? Dolphins! <laughs> That's a good laugh. <laughs> Can we do a dolphin laugh for our belly? <laughs> Seven dolphins arrive <clears throat> and swim close to her mat. Raising her bottoms, her forearms stay flat. How many dolphins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dolphins, whoa. Okay, my love, so to this pose, we're first gonna kneel. We're gonna put our forearms down, little fists, and then we're gonna bend up. But put your feet like this. Ms. Mel's gonna show you how to do your feet, just like that, to the back, okay? And bend up. And hold that stretch for a few seconds. Real high to the sky. And go back down. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> gorillas! What? Miss Nell's favorite. Gorillas. Let's do a gorilla call. Uh, call out to you, my loves. Eight gorillas screech. Lila holds in. Oh my goodness. Hold, folds in half. Clasp hands under feet. And lets out a laugh. <laughs> So do we see Lila, how she's doing her pose for the gorillas? So we're gonna stand up, and then we're gonna hold our feet. We're gonna put our hands under our toes, and we're gonna stand just like this. Hee 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 hee, give a good laugh. Stretch it out, stretch it out, all about. This mouth's gonna show you sideways too. Okay, good job, good job, good job. Oh, here's one. Lizards. How many of us love lizards? We all love lizards. Yeah, they're cool. Nine scaly lizards climb onto a stone. Her leg is a tail. She's only just grown. How many lizards do we have? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lizards. Okay, we're going to do this pose. We're going to put one of our legs back. <coughs> our arm on the floor. Okay, just like Lila, and we're going to put both our arms on the floor. We're going to give it a good, good stretch, 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 stretch it out. We can even do it with the other leg. Switch back. And stretch, 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 stretch it out. Good job, my loves. Good tails. Those are good lizard tails. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> Whoa. Froggies. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Awesome! How many frogs do we see? Ten! Can we count ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, some hip and some hop. She stretches out wide. Her arms are the prop. Okay, see how Miss Lila is stretching out? Okay, my loves, we're going to stretch it out, stretch it out. Can you see Miss Mel's legs? We're going to stretch it out just like a frog. And you know what I like to do? I even like to clap with my feet. <laughs> how awesome is that? Who knew you could clap? 
way to defeat them. I'm clapping for you, my love. I'm doing a frog clap for you. Now we're gonna stretch out our legs. And we're gonna look up. Stretch body. Good job, froggies. All right, <clears throat> time to get back up. Raise it up. Now this one we're gonna stand for. <clears throat> and this one, we're coming to the end of our zoo trip, our yoga zoo trip today. And Miss Mel has something special to share with you all today that involves flamingo. But here's our animal pose, our flamingo pose for today. Remember to breathe. Use only your nose. Inhale and exhale. Stay calm in each pose. So you know what? <clears throat> Sometimes when we're first starting off doing these poses, we can get a little frustrated. But that's okay. You know what? We only get better when we try, try, try again. So you know what? Let's stay calm, let's try it. <clears throat> and if we can't do it the first time, that's okay. If we can't do it the second time, that's okay. We're just gonna keep trying because as you keep trying, you get better at anything, my loves. So remember to breathe. Remember we did our breathing yesterday in through the nose. Stay calm. Breathe if you need to before each pose. And you know what we're gonna do, Lila's flamingo pose. So grab your buddy, your yoga buddy, your parent, or whomever you're with, and grab your chair if you need to. We're going to put one of our feet there, and we're going to balance by putting our hands in the center. And we're going to see how long we can stay in that pose. And remember, if you lose your balance a little bit, you have your chair or you have your yoga buddy. All right, my love. So let's see. Always be present in everything you do, my loves. Always be present right here and right now. Show that you're thankful and conclude yoga with a bow. So we want to be in yoga as a way to be thankful. We want to make sure to bow to each other. Showing you are thankful. You are thankful for today. You are thankful for everything in your life. You are grateful, my loves. All right, so Ms. Mel's gonna show you something else. In the back of this book, if you get it through curbside pickup, or you get it through digital reads for Hoopla or Overdrive, or if you get it through Libby, these are most awesome, all the poses we did today. So in the back of this book, it's Lila's Yoga Flow. So it gives you from one, we did, how many poses did we do? <clears throat> my goodness, we did about 10 or 11 poses. Oh my goodness. And it shows you instructions of how to do these poses too, along with the wonderful pictures Lila showed us with the animals today in our Zoo Zen Yoga. Now, Miss Nell wanted to show you a picture of an amazing flamingo, because I said I had a surprise about the flamingo. That's our flamingo in our book that we did our yoga pose to today. And did you know, Miss Nell heard an announcement today, the Philadelphia Zoo, our Philadelphia Zoo, had a new baby Caribbean flamingo chick born. And it is awesome. They are going to have their Philly Zoo at 2 today on their Facebook live feed. And they are going to have an amazing, amazing time. You're going to have an amazing time at 2 o'clock today to check out their new flamingo baby Caribbean chick. <gasps> what? Is that awesome or what? So check out our Philadelphia Zoo live page for Zoo at 2 because they feature all different kinds of animals every day. And you know what? Check on that Caribbean flamingo chick and see if you can do that flamingo pose again in a wonderful thankfulness to her. All right, my loves. Also, remember, Miss Nelson, I'm going to pop down here. Remember, craft time with Miss Andy tomorrow at 1 o'clock right here on Marble Library Facebook feed live page. And she has some awesome crafts always, my loves. You'll have a great time. Also, remember, Monday's Once Upon a True Story. Monday, this coming Monday, we have Once Upon a True Story at 1030, um, where Miss Nell reads an amazing, features an amazing individual throughout history that we're going to learn more about together. And it's so super awesome because I love sharing that with you. And we also have story time theme for next week. 
What's our story time theme for next week? It is all about pets. It's all about pets. And one of our books has a shark in it. What? Miss Bell's going to show you her amazing surprise she has during that visit of our land shark book. So that's going to be totally awesome, my loves, next week, our pet time story time week. So I hope you all tune in. Oh, and I almost forgot book talk on Monday too, my loves. So we have another amazing book talk on Monday. So I hope everyone has a wonderful week. And I bow to you in thankfulness. And have a wonderful week, my loves. And love you all so much. And I can't wait to see you next week, my loves. Have a wonderful week and weekend. Bye-bye.